Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today's video, um, I'm not even gonna try to mince words. I'm 30 years old, I didn't wanna go to the doctor, and I rewarded myself because I got up, I went, and uh, that's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much the long and short of it. Like, I don't know why, all of a sudden I'm like, I'm 30, I don't have to go to the doctor, and it's like, girl, have you looked at your medical chart lately? Like, you need to go to the doctor more than anybody, okay? You need to just, like, go in there. And I really had to force myself a week or, I think it was a week and a half ago when I went. So I went into Walgreens while my prescription was getting filled, and I decided to do this video, which, as you saw in the title, hello, obvious, um, is just a full face of makeup that I found at Walgreens. And I wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. Obviously, yes, I wanted to test it out, and I wanted to just, like, you know, reward myself for being a good doodle and, like, going to the doctor. And, and I'm not 12, but I still felt the need to be rewarded, okay? Okay, don't judge me. Honestly, once I got in there, there was a ton of stuff that I realized I was already curious about because I had seen it on the Alta website. Like, this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh line. So they have this. They have some um, cream, like, balm highlighty type stuff. They have blushes. While I was gathering up some stuff, obviously, I went for, like, the new section. So I have, like, new stuff from CoverGirl, new stuff from L'Oreal, new stuff from Milani, that sort of thing. Um, but then there were also some holes. And there were a couple of products that I've tested before and I wanted to test again or that just aren't new and I never got to play with. With. So I thought today's video would be kind of cool to just mash everything together We have mostly new makeup from Walgreens, but with some other stuff thrown in now first off here I'm just looking at my receipt. We have this little guy from Milani. This is their master blur stick It is in the shade 100 transparent universal So it's not supposed to leave a cast or anything and this retails for $9.99 It looks like this was part of their buy one get one half off and basically all this is is just a white stick that I will be Concentrating on my more porous areas. I really like the way that that feels as I press it into my pores. Oh gosh, it doesn't have like any slip to it necessarily, but it also doesn't feel matte. It's like a good in-between feeling on the skin. I really like that and I do feel like it did a nice job settling into the pores. I don't think that it necessarily blurred them out, but I do like the way that it sits on them and like doesn't just have a weird texture to them. It doesn't feel like it's sitting on my skin and causing more texture, which is really nice. Now moving into foundation, this is one I was so freaking excited about. This is from CoverGirl and it is their Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract. I have it in the shade 520 Fair. It says that it is a vegan formula with a dewy finish and you do get one full fluid ounce. It says on the back that it blurs imperfections, evens out skin tone, it has a sheer buildable coverage, and it gives you instant and all-day hydration. Okay, so with that on and applied, I did go in and add, I would say, about two-ish layers, if I'm being generous. I didn't want to add a lot because it did say that this has more of a sheer coverage, which is totally understandable, um, given, like, the, the creation of this entire line that really fits the aesthetic. So I don't want to just go on and, like, keep trying to build up coverage when clearly this isn't meant to really build up coverage. Um, but I will say, as far as the little bit of build I did get, I think it got me to a nice light coverage, like, right here. You can still see my acne, but it is dulled down a little bit. Same, like, on my and you can still see a lot of it, but it's it's just dulled a little. Um, so I'm not mad at that. It did do what it said. And as far as the way it looks on my face, I actually think it looks really nice. It's settling in beautifully. Now, like I mentioned for concealer, I grabbed something that I knew would have a little coverage, but they didn't have anything that was new. So instead I went for something that I have wanted to play around with for a long time. It's super hyped and everyone loves it, or most everyone. And that is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I have it in the shade 100 Ivory, which from what I could see was their lightest shade. It says that it is a medium full coverage concealer for coverage under the eye, concealing the face, shaping out the face, and just for general all over use. So I'm going to go ahead and take this under the eyes and try to maybe blend it in, give myself a little acne coverage as well, and uh, you know, just kind of see where we can go from there. Real quick, I'm not sure if I said it, but the price for the foundation is $13.49, and the price for the Maybelline Instant Rewind or whatever, that stuff is $9.49. And again, these are Walgreens prices. And now the next product I'm going to go in with is from L'Oreal. This is their long wear shaping stick. I grabbed it in the shade 410 Cocoa because I'm going to use it to um, try to shape out my face a little bit. And this one retails, it looks like for $12.99. So that's what we're going in with next. And again, I grabbed it in a darker shade. Oh, wow. That is creamy. Um, ooh, and it blends Oh, wow, that feels really nice. I really wanted to try this because a lot of people say this is one of their favorite ways to shape out their face, especially from the drugstore. And I remember when I tried the foundation stick, like for just my all over foundation, um, I wasn't in love with it because it was too creamy. It was too emollient, which I think would be great for an actual shaping stick. So now that I have that lightly on the face, I'm going to go in here with my BH number two 
and I'm just going to kind of buff it in a little bit. I want to try it with a brush first because this is typically how I would um, use a product like this because I really like the look of having it just actually buffed into the skin. It makes it look really seamless. So the overall blend on this is actually really nice. I would caution you on like how I did it. I lightly, you know, shaped out, I applied it, and then I went to blend it out. I think for future use, I would be a little bit careful doing that because as it starts to dry down, you can tell that it really wants to stay put. But wow, that has beautiful coverage. It blends in like a freaking dream. Like that's so impressive. And then I'm just taking a real quick press over those areas and making sure everything looks good and blend it into the skin, which wow, it does. It looks so nice, okay. All right, so the next couple of items we have are also a part of that CoverGirl Clean Fresh line. I have two of their cream blushes and then two of their cooling glow sticks. And it looks like these cream blushes are just a squeeze container Oh my god, that is so beautiful. This is the shade 370 Butterflies. Wow, that's gorgeous. And then to balance that out, I grabbed the shade 350 Flushed, which is more of a bright kind of coral pink. Oh girl, that's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think to start off, I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna go in with this lightly brighter shade. And I'm going to just lightly dunk my sponge in right here and apply it. Oh wow, a little goes oh girl okay so we're gonna get the base color laid down oh my god that's so pretty okay then i always like to go in with the butt of the sponge here where i applied foundation and just lightly tap over top of it that looks absolutely stunning i'm really happy with this Ooh, girl Okay, that was really rude. And we are well aware at this point that Paige has a little bit of that too much gene like embedded into her heart and soul. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the shade 370, just a little, little bit, uh, because it is a very intense color, but I wanna take some and try working it on like toward the back of my cheek, just a little, little bit, because I think it could look really pretty. Just like near the back, where it kind of meets up with my um, cream bronzer just a little bit just to press the two together. Okay, so now we're moving on to these little cooling glow stick things, and I grabbed the lightest options that they had from what I could see. The option 300 says that it's transparent, which is right here, and it quite literally is transparent. Not 100% sure like what you would do with this, maybe like a no makeup makeup day to give a little lilt or something. I don't know, this is very confusing to me and the texture is very gummy. But the other shade that I have is 400 So Guilty, and this one looks like it's too dark for me. Um, but that's it right there. It has a nice amount of shine to it. It does feel very nice and creamy and it has a beautiful payoff. So what I'm going to do is I think just try to apply a little bit of this to like the high point of my cheek. To do that, I'm just going to run it on my sponge like I would any of my other cream sticks here. And I'm just going to ever so lightly kind of brush it onto there. All right. And there you go. Now you can see a little bit of it. I did this side and I was like, <laughs> where are you? Um, but on this side, you can see a little bit. This is definitely one of those products for me that's like no makeup makeup day type situation, um, which from what I'm seeing is kind of the entire collection. I do feel like though, given the rest of the collection having that minimalist type feel, that the blushes are more like bam, like in your face type situation. Yeah, these were $11.99 each and so were the blushes. And in my opinion, these are not worth $11.99. I don't think so. Um, just from a pure consistency standpoint, I don't love that they don't like to blend. I do like though that once you get them kind of on and worked in, you do get like a nice lilt from within type look. Um, so they're not bad. I just don't know that the consistency is my favorite. And because I didn't set my concealer um, when I went in and I was applying everything, I'm just going in and I'm taking some, I'm pressing it into the Hulk wrinkle up here, and then a little bit more under the eyes just to help shape out that area a little, brighten it back up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair just to get it lightly set. And then the other day I was doing a video and I couldn't remember which guru I learned this from. And thank you guys so much for reminding me. It was Wayne freaking Goss. Um, taking a powder puff and folding the, um, the powder into it, flicking it out. I'm gonna go ahead and use that same technique and I'm going to lightly then set the rest of my face. Okay, so I ran off of camera super quick as you guys can probably tell. And I applied some more base makeup that I didn't have new from Walgreens for this video. So I grabbed my BH Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gale just a little bit 
bit to kind of shape out the face and just, you know, set that area down. I used a blush from NYX. This is their Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in Citrine Rose. It's one of my favorites. And then I did go ahead and give myself a little spritz of my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to really press everything in. And that is going to bring us into brows. Now, originally I wasn't going to pick this up, but because I bought the Infallible, that Sculptor Stick, I had another item that was half off. So I wanted to pick out something I hadn't tried before. And I went with this brow pencil. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. And it's the thicker end. And normally from L'Oreal, I go with their Stylist Definer. It's one of my favorite brow products from the drugstore, but I thought we would go ahead and give this one a try. I grabbed this in the shade 420 Dark Brunette, which is very dark. So I'll definitely make sure I use a light hand with this. And because it's a triangle applicator, I'll definitely have to be careful anyways, because I don't have, as you can tell, a lot of like actual brow hair. So anytime I use a triangle tip, I have to really, really concentrate. So I'm just going to go ahead and work this through the brows real quick. All right, guys. So that felt like a very intense game of high stakes poker where like my house and my kidney were both on the line. And uh, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't the worst product I've ever used for brows. It doesn't have a bad consistency, but uh, I did have to get through like the top layer right here in order to get to a little bit more creamy and a little bit more emollient feel. I also obviously went ahead. I shaped out the brows a little bit and I did add on a little bit of my ABH brow gel. I had to use that one because it was the only one that was dark enough to go with this color. Here's the situation, y'all. I'm about sick of talking about these damn brows or anything else because I'm dying to talk about eyes and it's because I found something that was both expensive and very intriguing and I picked it up. These are from L'Oreal and these are the Infallible Magic Pigments. It says that they are a powder to cream texture for easy blending and I thought these looked so freaking interesting because not only on the display did they have them for eyes but they also had them for lips. So I picked up a nice little neutral Nelly Brown that we'll test out here in a bit. But what I thought was so interesting about these was actually getting to see them in person in the drugstore because a lot of times when it comes to cool stuff like this or like, you know, more innovative type stuff, you never get to see it like in a Walgreens or in a physical drugstore. And obviously there are other ones. I just used something similar to this. Um, it was uh, drugstore makeup I never tested and it was from BH Cosmetics. I'll link it up here. And they were super, super beautiful. So it's not like the actual like product it's itself has never been seen before. I just thought it was cool to see it like in person on its own display, like having a moment. But anyways, let's go ahead and start looking at these colors. So I have this one. This is the darkest I picked up and it's in the shade 468 Temptress. And I'm just going to sprinkle it out here. And then as you blend it out with your finger, it does turn into a creamy texture. Well, this one has way more payoff. Look at that gold. <gasps> that one is way better. Okay. This one is in the shade Gold Digger. <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, number 442. And it has way more payoff. It has a lot more opacity as well as a lot more like lilt and shine to it. Ooh, okay. Guys, now I'm pissed off. Okay. I thought this one was going to be like just a straight up matte white color or maybe have a little lilt to it. This is in the shade Ivy League number 440. And like you can barely see it. It's right there. <laughs> Like, it has the lightest amount of light, light, light gold glitter set in an almost completely transparent base. And I'm going to try to build it, but this one is so disappointing. All right, so it builds up a tiny bit. Like, can you see it now? Probably not, but it's there. I promise for what it's worth. Um, I'm very bummed right now because I had this whole thing like planned out. I was going to do like a nice little smoky eye. It was going to be so cool. And now I'm just like, well. Never mind. Prime my lid with a little concealer here, a little bit more concealer. And then I'm gonna take just a little pile of the gold and I'm gonna sprinkle, ooh, oh, I sprinkled out way too much, but we're just gonna take some and I'm gonna kind of tap off the excess off my finger. And then I am going to very carefully kind of press and like swiggle that onto my eye. Okay, so this is my attempt to bring you in. I just went ahead, obviously, and I applied what you saw me apply from far away. And I, oh man, I just, I don't know. Here's my thing, okay? I've, I'm having several feelings right now. My first issue is I expected for what this was, like it was, oh, and it just dumped all over my leg. You know what? You suck. I expected this to be super like ingenuitive because it like was this whole display. It was this big deal. And the way that, you know, when you picture something like this, I guess I just envision it to be more like the one from BH Cosmetics that had like a wham factor. Like it really had something to offer. And for me, n none of these three shades that I picked up are overly like amazing. And the color isn't building on my lid at all. I've tapped in and tried to build it three times and the color just is not there. Like at all. I can see it when I initially apply it, but then it goes away. It like sinks into my skin. 
this texture, I don't know, man. I feel like this texture is not going to stick around. It's not gonna work for very long. You know what, guys? In the interest of learning, we're gonna take some of the darker one here, and we're going to grab just a tiny bit of that and go in with my pointer finger here. I'm gonna try to press that onto the outer part of my eye right here and just really, like, fade, I guess, and, like, create a little bit of depth on my eye. Oh, good, which then just removed all the gold. Oh my God, I am so not happy right now. Guys, why does this look so bad? I don't think it's translating to camera how incredibly frustrating this is, but these are not working. And for me, being able to use the BH ones that were like $6 or whatever, and have such an amazing result, beautiful payoff, and not have any issue at all, I'm just so freaking frustrated right now. Oh yeah, because guys, I didn't mention to you, how much are these, you might ask? They're $14.99 per one of these, $15. Nope. I don't think so. Oh my God, you guys, it's now starting to crease on my eyelid. You know what? I'm done. I'm going to remove this eye and, um, <laughs> package these up because they are so getting returned. Okay. So I went ahead, obviously I removed that off my eye and now I'm going to try this. I picked it up. It's from Milani. I think these are like $8.99 I want to say, but they are their new stay put eyeliner and I have it in two shades, but I want to use O2 semi sweet. It's just like a nice kind of dark brown. And I thought it would be cool given what we just went through to just take this and uh, rub it into the lash line right there. And just apply like a really haphazard little line and then go in with the little smudger that it comes with and kind of smudge it out. Okay, so that looks really cute. I just realized something though. I never um, set my concealer on my lid. So I need to do that, like lightly set it and then I'll probably have to like fix the wing. But that looks really beautiful. And it's not like a structured wing either. It's just a nice little like just slightly smoky area. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna run off real quick and I'm going to do that to this eye, fix what needs to be fixed, and uh, come back on and then we're gonna talk about lips and we're gonna see if their version of this lip thing works or not. All right guys, so I'm back and after about 20 minutes off of camera, I have one very good question. Who the hell did I piss off <laughs> into the cosmos to make the last 20 minutes of my life be what they are? I just had, <laughs> let me just, let me, you know what? I'm gonna back up. So I, last time we were talking, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this Milani liner. And you know, when, when I left, I had like this little wing and everything was great. And this liner, and it's no fault of the liner, it's my own fault, this liner, is so budge proof. So I'm sitting here with this and I'm like, you know, smoking it out. And I'm like, okay. And I take the little blender and I'm starting to blend it. And I'm starting to realize that like, it's not blending out. And I'm like, well, that's really weird. It took me doing both eyes and literally having, I, I, I don't even want to say cat eyes because it's an insult to people that actually do a wing and do it very well. But I had this ridiculous like brown check mark thing on my eyes. It wouldn't move. It was so insanely like non-smudge budge proof. So these saying that they are in fact stay put eyeliners, guys, I'm starting to believe it. So I went ahead and I actually had to take off all of the eye makeup, everything that I had going on. And I took a little bit. I just smudged it in very lightly and uh, did the same thing on the lower lash line. I put it on my waterline. So it's all there. That's everything that you see is this right here. But it was just like, oh my God. And that was my fault. So I'm like, okay, you know what, Paige? It's frustrating, but you got to get over it. So then I went ahead and I was going to use a drugstore mascara, but I have one that I'm really trying to get used up. So I have my Tarte's uh, Lights Camera Lashes. It's just a mini that I had out of some kit somewhere. And I was like, well, I really want to get this used up before it goes bad. So I start applying it. I get it right there. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Really. It's great. I don't mind. It's annoying as hell, but it's fine. So as I go ahead and I'm just like, you know, doing the rest of my business, like it's driving me crazy that I got this smudge, but like, I'll be okay. I look on my jawbone right here, like on this whole area. And I had this huge, just like whoosh, of, I don't even know what, like some mystery substance thought it was glitter, thought it was mascara, could have been a hoof print. I don't even know. So I sit here and I'm like trying to scrape that off like spackle, cause I don't know. And I just, every step of my life, I'm just like, what is going on? So I'm very excited to be back on camera and to just like <laughs> be happy again. And we're gonna go ahead and dive into the final step, which is lips. So I did go ahead while off of camera. I did all of that. I sprayed my face uh, with a ton of different sprays. I used the Urban Decay All Nighter, Morphe Continuous, and my Catrice Dewy Glow, just to like get everything good and locked in. And I highlighted my face. You can see I have a nice blinding glow. I used my ColourPop Horse and Carriage Highlight 
highlight. It's one of my favorites right now, and I've been using it a ton. So I highlighted with that, sprayed everything, and we're moving on to lips. So I grabbed this from CoverGirl. This is their Exhibitionist All Day Lip Liner, and I have it in the shade Caramel Nude, number 205. Okay, so with the lip liner on, guys, I really thought that I would hate this weird, like, little slant. I don't know how well you guys can even see that on camera. It has this little, like, slanted tip type applicator that I'm not used to seeing with lip liners. And I have to be honest, this worked really, really nicely. The consistency is very nice and creamy. It didn't snap off, which I was I was 100% convinced was going to happen. Um, and I really like it. What was this again? 205 Caramel Nude. I love this color. But now here's the situation. So I went ahead, I got that lip liner on. Things are going swell and good. And then... This still is here, ready to come to the party. This is that uh, L'Oreal Infallible Magic Pigment Powder to Cream, Cream to Powder, whatever. It's a lip pigment, and this one's in the shade Coffee Date. And I'm gonna try it. I'm just not happy about it. That is the lip color, so it is about a perfect match to the lip liner I picked out. It has a similar finish to the ones for the eyes. Um, this one has more of like a matte kind of dry down. There's not much of a satin finish left. Okay, so here's my thing. I'm not mad at it. I know you can't tell much of a difference between that and the lip liner, and I apologize. That's my fault. But here's the thing. I don't hate, like, the even the consistency of it on the lips. It's not too matte. It's not too anything. But for me, with this particular product for the lips, I think it's the practicality of it. In my mind, I guess I expected this one to have a different, like, application type deal than the ones for the eyes because who is just, like, out and about with their lipstick, especially when it's not, like, a straight-up matte, dry-down, you know, long-lasting formula? Who's out and about and they're just going to have this in their purse and be like, okay, oh, hold on one second. Like nobody. Nobody's gonna do that. So for me, I don't know. There's just like a logistical aspect to this that I don't think is very practical. Um, the color is fine. It's very comfortable. I don't I don't hate like it's sitting on there. I think it was a lot more successful than the ones for the eyes. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I don't know. I just don't see the point for it, I guess, more than anything. All right, now here's my real show of hands. Who here thinks that Paige is done? Who, who thinks that she's actually not gonna have a lip gloss? I better not see one hand because I have a lip gloss. I actually have two, but this one I think is the most color appropriate. This is from Milani and it's their Ludicrous Lip Gloss in the shade 210 So Fly. And it has such a beautiful color too. Oh, it's berry. Whoops, I thought this was brown. <laughs> well, crap. Okay, so this is like the same color as my shirt. So, oh, that's a real dark. Okay, uh, I didn't expect that. Ooh, okay, so the color is really, really beautiful. Um, I don't know as of right now because it's on there with other products. I don't know if I'm gonna like the consistency because it's very, very, very thick and it's giving me, um, Almost like that kind of like pre-goop where you know like num num that you're gonna start getting those strings when you lift your mouth apart. It's given me a little bit of that, but I can't tell quite yet. Ooh, but that color is so, so stinking pretty. Like, color beautiful, shine is stunning. But all right, you guys, that is the finished face. What do you guys think? Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Were there any of these products that you liked, that you were curious about? Um, do you like these type of videos still in general? I know right now on YouTube, the realm is just crazy. So let me know anything that you want to see, if you still like seeing these, any thoughts, just on videos in general. Leave them in the comments. If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, they are both linked in the description. But above all, else above all else if you haven't subscribed and turned on your post notifications please be sure to do that down below i upload three videos a week monday wednesday friday and it's a variety of things sometimes we have vlogs we have makeup obviously full faces love it hate it um i do plus size fashion i'm about ready to start a new series on my channel which you haven't seen yet but i'm super excited so stay tuned for that um so yeah if you like me you want to stick around you like the personality and more of a you know makeup meets lifestyle vloggy sometimes kind of content subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mira Mira on the wall who had more problems than them all. This bitch, okay? Oh. I'm a booty guru. Just kidding. I'm a beauty guru. I have no bad angles. What? 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 How dare you insinuate that I'm not perfect. Away with you. Okay. Hello, 
beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, I'm gonna make it long and short, long and short at the same time. Are you now? Are you? Cool, okay. <laughs> 